Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Clea Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, June 7th, 2024. Now let's go to Samara for Today in History. Thank you, Kalia. Today in History on June 7th, 1938, Donald Wills Douglas made a plane called the Douglas DC-4E, and it made the first test flight. But here's some background information. Douglas was an aviation pioneer and made another plane called the Douglas Cloudster, but it failed. But he never gave up. In 1935, Douglas made the Douglas DC-3, and it was very successful. But he wanted to reach even higher. So he made the Douglas DC-4E, which was made before World War II. The plane could have fly until June 7th, 1938, and it was very successful too. I find that really interesting. I hope you do too. Now let's check today's menu with Giselle. Thank you, Samara. Today's lunch is cheese pizza, turkey and cheese deluxe hoagie, steamed broccoli, herb tomatoes, fresh baby carrots, tropical fruit, fresh strawberries, honeydew, and your choice of milk. Monday's breakfast is Berry Parfait, tricks, Graham Crackers, Apple, Fresh Watermelon Chunks, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you are receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now switch back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. That sounds awesome. Patriots, please remember to keep your phones shut down and in your pockets at all times. And remember, there is no book bags on Monday, so keep them at home. Make sure that there is no chewing gum in school. Please put it out before entering the building. And you can only wear a school jacket or sweater. Last chance to get your very own yearbook. So if you haven't ordered your yearbook, go to myschoolbooks.com. It is only $45 a person. If you're interested in cheerleading for next year, then visit the front or back office to get a yellow paper containing the information you need. But make sure you read the requirements carefully. Monday is the last day of school and it will also be a half day, so feel free to relax at home or spend the last day with your favorite friends and teachers. It's been a great year and I can't wait to see all of you and the new people next year. Now let's go to Hadassah for today's weather. Thank you, Kalia. Fishy days, Patriots. Today's weather is 92 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Make sure to bring a raincoat. In other weather news, a lot of us have heard about NASA sending things to space, but why not fish? Space companies like NASA have been sending fish out of Earth's atmosphere to help discover the negative effect of gravity. But fish help scientists understand how microgravity affects the human body. Well, I knew something's fishy going on. Now let's go to Elia for Let's Talk. What's up, Patriots? I'm Elia Santiago, and here with us today we have a sixth grade math teacher, Ms. Vargas. Hey guys, what's up? How has your day been so far? It's been great. That's good to know. We have some questions to ask you about your role as a teacher. All right, let's do it. Okay. As a math teacher, what is the hardest thing you've had to teach? The hardest thing that I've had to teach, I want to say, has been fractions and decimals because a lot of my students still struggle with their multiplication tables. Hmm, makes sense. How do you feel about your position? I love it. I think I have a great time as a math teacher, and I think my students have a great time. You saw that the theme of your class is Marie the Cat. Why did you decide to choose it? I decided on Marie. She's from the Disney movie The Aristocats because many people have told me that she and I have the same personality and because she also has a big pink bow, which I love pink. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Why did you decide to teach sixth grade math? I decided to teach sixth grade math because one, I think it is the easiest level of math to teach, and two, because I feel that at the sixth grade level, I can make a deeper connection with you and have unforgettable moments. We know that you had a unique bathroom pass. What inspired you to make it? What inspired me to make my bathroom pass was that my original passes kept on disappearing and they kept on breaking. So I told my students that if they continued to damage them, I would create a bathroom pass that they would never forget. 
And I'm pretty sure I succeeded in that. Yes, you did. Do you have any interesting talents or hobbies? Yes, I can sing, I can dance, and at the same time, I'm also a drummer. Mm. Do you have a favorite student? Yes, I do have a favorite student. Who is it? Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, awesome responses. Now, on to our lightning round. All right. Ballet or gymnastics? Gymnastics. Disney Plus or Netflix? Disney Plus, all the way. Hispanic or American food? Ooh. It depends. It depends on what it is. Rap or pop music? Pop music, a thousand percent. If you could invent a new flavor of ice cream, what would it be? It would be a tropical fruity dream with all the tropical fruits. We had a great time interviewing you today. Patriots, be sure to say hi to Ms. Vergas when you see her in the hallway. See you next time. Bye, guys. So today's birthday boys and girls are Ladarius Roberts, Raquela Bent, Violeta Martin Arias, Sebastian Morales, and Serenity Dead. Our weekend birthdays are Selena Lepp, Alanis Valentin, Patrick Alcantara Hernandez, Ronald Curtis II, Maya Velasco, Jamara Troop, Anisha Parkins, Liam Alleman, Jaslyn Gonzalez, and Giovanni Herrera. Happy birthday, Nala Chicken, and our news around the school.
That was so spectacular. Teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into the News Around the School OneDrive folder so we can keep highlighting everything going around in our school. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Carter, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Denkwa for giving the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, if a red house is made of red bricks and a yellow house is made of yellow bricks, what is a green house made of? The correct answer was glass. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What is the name of the pet dinosaur on the TV cartoon, The Flintstones? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you all a fabulous Friday. And congratulations on getting through the year. See you next grade. Have a great summer.